Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're going to break down the Alpine Stars Venture R jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. So on my left hand side, you will see Tom, and Tom is wearing the Alpine Stars Venture R jacket and pants. Now this is going to be an enduro option for you to wear if the mornings are a little bit cold, you want some extra abrasion resistance over top of your just regular jersey, it is meant to be worn over top of your body armor for all of you enduro and off-road riders out there. Now what you're gonna see from this is you're gonna have a jacket pants combo, and the first thing I wanna dive into very quickly is going to be sizing. Now Tom on my left-hand side stands at five foot 11, weighs 205 pounds and has a 42 inch chest. He is currently wearing the jacket in a size large and he is also wearing a full body armor suit underneath this. So just keep that in mind. He worked with the size chart. It fit him perfectly, even with that armor that he is wearing underneath the jacket. But it is designed to be worn over top of existing body armor. There's no armor included here. The pants, pants are a different story. Now with the pants, he is typically going to be a size 33, 34 in his jean. He is bumped up to a size 36 to be able to work over top of the knee braces and the hip armor that he's wearing. A little bit of extra room at the waist, but there are going to be Velcro adjusters there that he used to cinch it down to give him a spot on fit. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at sizing. The jacket ranges from sizes small up to 3XL, and the pants will come in sizes from 28 up to a 40 inch waist. Now, if you don't like black, you're out of luck for the pants, but the jacket does come in one additional color. There is going to be a black and blue option for the jacket. Now, from a pricing perspective, jacket's going to hit you around the $220 price point. Pants come in around the $150 price point, and it's really on par for a lot of the other options you're going to see out there. And I think when you're looking at the construction you're getting, uh, the beefiness of the ripstop throughout, um, the price is something that I think is going to be really on par with a lot of the enduro options to get you something that's beefier than what you'd see you know, from just wearing a regular jersey over this. Now, if you want something in the middle, you don't want all the extra, you know, ripstop and the, you know, the real beefy abrasion resistance, you could take a step down into something like the Session Jacket. So the Session's gonna hit you around the $150 price point from Alpine Stars. It's more of a lightweight, just kind of a windbreaker that you could wear for those cooler mornings. Both of these options do have a bit of water resistance built into them. Now, we're not gonna call them full-on waterproof, um, but you will have water resistance throughout the entire jacket. And when you're looking at the Venture R, you are gonna have a waterproof Napoleon pocket over on the left-hand side. So just keep that in mind. If you have a cell phone that you're riding with, that is the pocket that you wanna store it in. So working our way through the entire jacket, the main construction that you're gonna see is a ripstop nylon. You're gonna see all those little there's little squares all throughout the jacket. That is so if there is a rip that does occur, it will not continue to pull through the entire section of the material. And again, if you're riding off road, you know what it's like when you start getting through some of that underbrush and really tight single track and it starts ripping away at whatever gear you're wearing. That ripstop nylon just gives you the extra little bit of protection. So if a rip does start to occur, it will not continue. Now, as we work our way down the shoulders, the elbows, there is gonna be a PU coating on this. And then you'll also notice that the, uh, the arms on this are gonna be fully removable. So if you want to, you can turn this just into a, into a vest and that will give you pockets if you wanna carry some stuff with you, but you don't want the additional weight of the sleeves on here. That is an option for you to consider as well. Now we talked about the venting. There is a mass amount of vents on this. So you're gonna have vents running down the chest and you're also gonna have vents in the forearm. You'll also notice the polyester material on the inside, a little bit of stretch poly for extra range of motion. When you're moving around off road, it's really about being able to move comfortably and not feel like the jacket that you're wearing is constricting your flow in any which way. So again, you have extra intakes there. You have just a little Velcro closure at the cuff. Really simple design. You are gonna have the pass through for your hydration pack. If you wanna run the hose down through here, it just gives you a place to hold it and then additional uh, top loading pockets on both sides for storage, neither of which are gonna be waterproof. So again, remember, the only waterproof pocket you wanna use is up on your left hand chest. Tom, go ahead and face sideways for me, strike the riding position. So as we take a look just down the side on this, one of the things you'll note, you are gonna have the, uh, the rabbit pouch at the back for additional storage, and that's gonna run across the entire back bottom of the jacket. And again, really, it's just that rip stop through all the way, all the way through. The only thing I would have liked to have seen is if they would have continued the uh, the stretch from the uh, from the forearm, and they would have brought a little bit of that stretch material underneath here, just for a range of motion. I think that would have been a nice little added touch from a comfort standpoint. Tom, you can go ahead and face backwards for me. 
So taking a look at the back of this, you are going to have the connection points for the neck brace if you decided to use it. And then you'll also notice that there is going to be a pass through here for your hydration hose. So if you don't feel like wearing an external hydration pouch, this is going to have a pocket built in that will hold your hydration bladder. And then you can run the hose right outside the jacket and then down to the little holder on the top for the, uh, the mouthpiece for your hose as well. So just working our way down the back on this, you will have the, addi the additional exhaust vents at the back and that Alpine Stars logo working its way across. Now, there is no pockets in this jacket to add armor. This is designed to be worn with armor underneath. So there's a back protector built into the armor that Tom is wearing underneath his jacket. Just keep that in mind. It's just designed to be an abrasion resistant shell with a bit of water resistance protection to keep you, you know, out of the elements. If you're gonna get caught in a torrential rain, this is probably not the piece I would rely on to keep you dry. This is just your everyday abrasion resistant jacket with the matching pants. Now the pants on this, I do really like, it's gonna kind of touch your butt there for a second, Tom. We've got the, uh, we've got the yoke at the top which is going to have stretch built into it. So I like the range of motion that you get with this. There's going to be stretch running down the back of the legs, extra layer of, uh, of abrasion resistance at the seat, and just a little bit of those gripper panels at the seat as well, with that ripstop nylon working its way all the way down the side. And Tom, go ahead and face forward for me. And I'm just going to have you unzip the jacket so we can get a look at the inside of the jacket as well as the front of the pants. So taking a look at the inside of the jacket, again, very clean lines. You're not looking at much as far as additional pockets are concerned, but you are gonna have the, uh, you are gonna have the little stretch at the bottom or the little shock cord at the bottom if you wanna kinda tighten the jacket base around your persons. And go ahead and open the other side for me too. And there is one final additional pocket over on the left-hand side. So very minimal storage on the inside of the jacket. Taking one look down the front of the pants, you will notice a combination of that ripstop nylon with the stretch material. And the stretch material is really what sets the pants apart. It's gonna work its way down the inside of the crotch on this, which gives you a great range of motion. You are gonna have leather gripper panels at the inside of the knee. And then that ripstop nylon is gonna work its way through the entire pair of pants to make sure that it is be able to hold up to all the rigors of whatever you decide to throw its way. So this is gonna be that new option from Alpine Stars for you and Duro and Off-Road Riders. Other Tom, you may zip up. So if you are looking for something for added protection over top of your regular jersey, your regular pants setup, this is gonna be something that's gonna be a bit beefier for you from Alpine Stars line. Again, the jacket's gonna hit you around the $220 price point where the pants will come in around the $150 mark. Now, if you are still not sure about how this Venture R is gonna fare and you wanna read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there utilizing this, now would be the time to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting the Venture R jacket and pants through its paces. And like I said, there is gonna be that matching jersey as well. If you're still not sure as to what outfit is right for you and your riding style, now would be the time to reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. We have plenty of people on staff that are spending their weekends getting dirty in the mud. I wanna thank you for joining us for this look at the Venture R jacket and pants from Alpine Stars. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.